whooping cough, a once forgotten illness, has become an epidemic in the state of California. Just this week, pertussis, as it's also known, claimed the life of a San Diego newborn, the seventh baby, to die in the state this year. Joining me to explain what's going on is KPBS investigative reporter Joanne Ferry. And Joanne, why are we seeing so many cases of a whooping cough? A number of reasons, Gloria. Uh, first of all, this is a cyclical disease. This tends to happen every five years. Uh, second reason, there's a little bit of research out there right now, emerging research that suggests perhaps this vaccine is losing a bit of its punch. The bacteria causing the illness may be mutating. The vaccine isn't 100% effective, although experts say it's, it will prevent most people from getting sick. And thirdly, a lot of people have forgotten about this d disease. They don't realize that as adults or as uh, as your children get older, they need boosters. So immunity does not last a lifetime. You need a booster shot. So who's most at risk? Well, really, it's uh, babies. Um, they can't be fully immunized until they are six months old. I spoke with the doctor, Dr. Elizabeth Rosenblum, about that issue, and here she is now. Well, I'll just say that um, the reason we are in sort of a urgent public health situation right now is that seven infants have died in California since January of 2000, 2010. And while it's always a tragedy when an infant dies, the fact that they are dying from a vaccine preventable illness, that if enough people in the community are vaccinated, we will form a cocoon of protection around our babies and be able to keep them from getting sick and possibly dying, we really need to address this at every level that we can. So you talked about booster shots, but uh, what, how often do you need them? And if you don't have it, what do you do? So right now, most parents know that their children under six need five doses of this vaccine before they're fully immunized. But there's now a recommendation on the table saying middle kids should also receive a booster. Middle school age kids should receive a booster. And in fact, the state legislature is looking at a bill that would allow that to happen. And finally, for adults, uh, a lot of people know what the tetanus shot is. Let's say you stepped on a rusty nail, you go to the hospital, they say you need a tetanus. That's actually a whooping cough booster. It's tetanus, diphtheria, and whooping cough all rolled into that one booster shot. Well, thank you very much, Joanne Farian. Thanks, Gloria.